Hey everyone, I hope that you are having a fantastic Sunday and that your weekend is going or has gone well. I realised the other day that not everybody has a weekend on a weekend. I've got friends whose weekend is actually midweek, but you know, I hope you'll forgive me for this generalisation on the show. Anyway, that aside, thanks to everybody who made comments to last week's Sunday Musing. It was really great to see so many people commenting and taking part in it and asking the same questions that we were asking. And I think the general consensus is that we are a journalistic channel. So thank you for that. I, it means a lot to me. Today, I want to shift track and talk about something that has been in the back of my mind for a while, specifically the whole conspiracy theory against green cars and big oil trying to do horrible things and energy companies trying to do horrible things and not wanting to to green their act up. And my question to you today is, is that really the case? This week in the United States, President Trump has announced that they're going to try and push back methane limits for power stations, etc., etc. They want to basically remove restrictions on how much methane can be put into the atmosphere by power stations, etc., etc. And while on the face of that, you kind of look at that and you go, oh, that's, that's, you know, that's another move from Mr. Trump that follows in a long line of, of anti-regulation sentiment. It's, you could claim anti-environmental because I mean, personally, I think that is, a, you know, this is a Sunday show, so I'm, I'm not going to hide the fact that I lean Democratic rather than Republican. So I am going to be, you know, on that side of the debate in a, on a personal level. But here's a really interesting thing. While, while Mr. Trump is wanting to do that and the EPA is going to be having a consultation period to see what people think about that, a lot of the US's big energy generators are going, actually, no, we, we don't want you to change the regulation. We're happy with the regulation the way it is. We are happy for these limits to be put on us. And I've been thinking about that and thinking about some of the other regulations that have been rolled back recently. And we had a similar situation with the mileage um, targets, the corporate average fuel economy targets. Some automakers went, actually, no, we're, we're quite happy with the fact that they're being increased. We just want to change the way they're implemented or we want to do this rather than a complete, no, we want to make whatever cars we want and pollute in whatever way we want. And I think in this particular sector, electric vehicles and renewable energy, we've got into this mindset of of parroting, you know, the world is against us, everybody is against us, everyone wants electric cars to fail. And while there is no doubt in my mind that there are people who want that to happen for whatever reason, be it political, financial or whatever, I think we've all got to the point now, we've got to the to the to the oh shit moment, uh, if you'll forgive my language, where everybody started to realize that we are on this big giant ball of rock and we're all there together and we all have to work together to solve a problem moving forwards. And I, I'm starting to get the impression that a lot of these companies who are being accused of not caring, of not wanting to move forwards, are actually starting to change. And my question to you is essentially if we act like they're not changing or we accuse them of behaving in a particular way when they may no longer be behaving in that way? Is that damaging to the overall goal? I am really pleased to see that energy companies are starting to change the way that they generate electricity. And there are ways that we as consumers can support that by buying, you know, renewable energy plans, for example. That's a great way of ensuring that the energy that we buy comes from the sources that we want them to. Obviously, having your own micro generation at home or battery storage system at home can help. But by telling a company when they're doing something right, rather than just moaning at them when they're doing the thing we don't want them to do, I think we can actually help accelerate the transition that a company makes, whether that be as a shareholder or as a customer. You do have, you do have a voice. And so, 
I'm interested to see what your take on all of this is. You know, these companies are saying, no, we don't want to roll back the methane regulations. Automakers are saying, no, we, we don't want you to get rid of the fuel economy targets. We, we're OK with them. So where does all of this conspiracy theory stuff come from? Yes, these companies are not changing as quickly as they might. And I think we need to put pressure on them to change more quickly. But continuing with this, there's a giant conspiracy to take down electric vehicles and green energy and everybody's got it in for everybody else is not helpful because I think that it's tarring everybody with the same brush. And I think we are missing out on nuances that we really need to understand. And there are nuances. You know, there are people like the Koch brothers. Well, not the Koch brothers anymore. The Koch brother who wants to take down, who seems, who seems hell bent on taking down green energy and green transportation. But then there are companies who are edging towards a greener future and we should be encouraging them rather than just lumping them with the Koch brother. It sounds really weird to say the Koch brother instead of the Koch brothers. Oh, well, in case you didn't know, one of the Koch brothers passed away recently. So, you know, and while he will not be missed, um, I think it's uh, appropriate to to pass condolences on to the family because whenever someone dies, it's not nice. Um, so, yeah, even though he wasn't a particularly nice man. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like comment, of course, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, support us using Patreon, or send us some Kofi through Kofi, coffee through Kofi even, or visit our swag store. As you know, we have been invited to the Bollinger um, press event in September in Detroit. Now, a friend of mine has very kindly offered to put me up for free and to help me out with some transportation while I'm there, but we do still need to cover the cost of the airfare. There's a video coming on that later on in the week, uh, next week even, um, but it's going to be like five, six hundred bucks. So if you want to help, uh, send us a couple of dollars and everybody can muck in and then we can go there and we can cover the event and bring you some live shots and maybe get some footage that isn't in black and white. It's been a bit of an ongoing joke in the office. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. Keep evolving.